I'd like to cover how our integrations work. <clears throat> You can access um, the, the Metro ASAP portal here or the boost activation button here, and they both work the, very similarly. So what you can do, um, just to let you know, you can access them from here, or if you're, say you're on the sales screen um, because you, you were selling a customer an accessory item, and now all of a sudden the customer wants to activate a phone or make a bill payment, you can simply click this add item button here and then you'll have access to all of your integration buttons. So the way it works um, as far as the Metro and Boost, uh, what you'll be doing is you'll click the Metro ASAP uh, or Boost button. It's going to bring you to the portal that you guys usually go to to activate the Metro phones or the Boost phones. Um, you're just going to sign in like you normally would, make the, the full activation, and then keep in mind when you're on the account overview page is where you're going to click this download activation to POS button here. And what this is going to do, it's going to take all the information uh, that you completed within the, the portal and it's going to bring it back into wireless standard. So just so I don't confuse anyone, um, I'm actually going to pause the screen for a moment and I'm going to bring up uh, the activation screen and exactly what it's going to look like after you click this download activation to POS button. And this works both uh, with Boost and Metro dealers. Just give me one moment here. Okay, thank you uh, everyone for your patience. So <clears throat> getting back to the, the activation process, after you click that download to POS button, um, whether you're in the Boost portal or the Metro portal, you're going to see this screen pop up. And like I said, everything will carry over into this screen based on what you did in the portal. And that's kind of the beauty of the integration. It'll state whether it was a Metro or Boost uh, carrier here. Um, it will give you the service plan that you selected in the portal. It will also um, give you the, the contract type, whether it be it was an activation or a port in or an upgrade. It will always say zero for prepaid uh, contracts. Any plan description will populate here as well as uh, the phone serial number that you activated will pull from your inventory module, the model of the phone, and the phone serial number. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the phone, uh, the actual customer's new phone number will, will appear here. Now if any plan options were selected in the portal, if you click plan options, this second tab, they'll be checked off for you based on what, what you selected in the portal whether it be insurance, call forwarding, whatever uh, options you selected, these will automatically be checked off for you. So really the only thing you need to do is just verify this information, make sure it looks correct as to what you did in the portal. And then um, when you're done, you're simply going to click process down below here. And now notice everything gets carried right in your shopping cart for the customer. So this first line is uh, simply stating the, the customer's 
plan information and the phone that was activated. So notice um, we have the $30 plan was selected. Uh, here's the, the customer's new number and here was a plan option the customer selected. So that's why it's not really charging anything here because this is just giving the customer information as to what plan they selected and their new mobile number. The next line item, uh, this is the phone that was activated, the model of the phone and the price, as well as the serial number of the phone. Now you can always discount this item um, you know, right here if you'd like, or if you have, like I said, if your administrator created discounts on the next page, you'll see discounts appear here that you can discount the phone. Any kind of special promotions, they should show up here as, as buttons for you. So now, um, to make the first month's bill payment, or to make any bill payment for that matter, uh, what you'll be doing, again, you'll click Add Item here, and you can either click the ePay button or the QPay button for bill payments. Now let's say, um, you know, they, like I said, they, they work very similarly. So you, you click the button and it will, it'll put you into the portal where you usually log in. What you're going to do is you're going to log in um, like you normally would, and then you're going to make the payment. And again, on the confirmation page, uh, you will see a small button at the top that says download to POS. And you're simply going to click that button and it's going to carry the, pa the payment right into your shopping cart. And, it, and I'll show you exactly what it will look like. It will say QPay bill payment and the amount that was paid. And it, for those of you who, who are boost dealers, um, it, it'll be the exact same process, only it will say ePay, bill payment, and then the amount that was paid. And again, um, when you're ready to check the customer out, um, you can simply click the green, apply any discounts that you would like. You can pick and choose which discounts uh, you can give the customer. And then you're going to click, uh, again, make payment in green, and either collect the cash or, or the card. Let's say a customer paid with $300. Here's our due change back. We'll click OK, and we'll print the customer receipt. And here's the customer receipt, including the all the activation details, the phone that was activated, and then two bill payments, as well as our accessory item.